One of the most common things that I get asked from potential competition entrants is how to resize your images. So I thought I would go through the basics of um, resizing images through the two most popular uh, photo editing programs, which are Lightroom and uh, Photoshop. So let's start with Photoshop. So first you need to go to image and on the drop down menu, go to image size and then this uh, box will pop up and it will give you the dimensions in pixels and the resolution. So the first thing to do is to pick your resolution. And now for resizing for Wild Art Photographer of the Year, for example, it's best to resize at uh, a resolution which is uh, good for viewing on the screen. Uh, and uh, that's generally 72 uh, pixels per inch. Uh, so put that value uh, into, the, into the bottom box as you can see on the screen. Now that, if you've got the resample uh, box checked which you can see below which you should have then that will basically resize your image but it's not necessarily going to uh, resize it to the pixel dimension you actually want and this is where a lot of people seem to get a little bit confused so what you need to do here is once you've got it to 72 dpi is actually then go into say the width box uh, this is a landscape image and let's say I wanted it to be 2000 pixels on the longest edge uh, then I put that value into the width and you'll see that the height automatically gets adjusted uh, to, you know, to the ratio which corresponds to that 2000 pixels. So I'll have an image that's 2000 pixels on the longest edge at 72 dpi. So then I'll click OK. And then you'll see that that image is, is automatically resized. Click um, Control and Zero to bring it up full screen on the, on the computer if you want. But then I'll go to File and Save As. So then you'll need to choose a location uh, to save your image. In my case, I'll save it to my, on a, in a folder on my desktop. Then you'll have an option as to what format you want to save your image in. Uh, for In this case, it's going to be a JPEG. And then it will ask me the quality I want to save it at. Now, if you're saving something for the web, for example, there's no point in saving uh, you know, a huge file. So I always go for a sort of medium size, say at seven. Uh, if you were saving for print, you would have saved at 300 dpi and you'd have saved a bigger file. Um, and then I would save at a much higher quality JPEG. But if you're entering a competition and you're preparing images for judges to look at just on screen initially before they make their, their sort of first round choices, uh, then seven, saving at around about seven at a, at a medium level as a JPEG is absolutely fine. Uh, and remember to save in uh, sRGB uh, color space, which is the best um, for online viewing. So let's now take a look at Lightroom, which is different from Photoshop, um, but there are some similarities. Uh, so if you're looking, this is Lightroom Classic, um, which is the program that I use. Uh, so if you're looking at your uh, library view with your uh, image thumbnails, uh, and you're choosing the image or the images that you want to export, because you can uh, export more than one image at a time um, with Lightroom, which actually does make it quite quite neat. It's actually a better way of doing it, I think, than than Photoshop, particularly if you're doing, you know, more than one image at a time. So um, select the image or the images that you want to export, um, and then go up to uh, the top left, click File, um, and the drop down menu. You'll get the uh, the export option. Uh, click on that, and that'll bring bring up the uh, you know the the option boxes. Um, which you can then make your export selections yeah. from. Here's the selection box uh, and you do have the option to create some presets but let's not um, worry about that. So the first thing you need to do is choose the destination folder so where you want these images to end up once they've been resized um, as you want them. Uh, so choose that, choose that folder then there are a number of options which are pretty obvious but the main thing that you want to concentrate on uh, particularly if we are looking at resizing smaller JPEGs for entry, um, for competition entry, uh, is is this uh, JPEG setting here. Now, it'll be fairly similar to Photoshop in the fact that uh, for competition entries, I'll choose generally something around medium size, so say 70%. You want JPEG format, and uh, the color space again is that sort of sRGB, which is best for web viewing. Um, then if you drop down beyond uh, that, you'll see a resize to fit option. Uh, now this is quite uh, straightforward and it's, uh, it's actually quite neat because you can 
choose from the drop down option um, how you want to resize those uh, how you want to resize those images you know the pixels on the longest edge is generally the option that I, I go for um, so again I put in a value of 2000 pixels on the longest edge uh, and a resolution of 72 uh, dpi obviously you have to check that resize to fit option um, there are some other options underneath like sharpen for screen and what have you but I, I don't tend to um, you know I tend to uncheck those um, then scroll down uh, you ask if you want to watermark obviously not for competition entry and then just click the export button and those images should then end up in that destination folder So I hope you found this video useful. If you do have any questions um, or are still uncertain about how to resize images, then do just drop me an email and I'll do my best to help you out.